you guys have been following my Instagram posts, you'll notice that I recently posted a boomerang effect that I created with the help of my brother. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to put this together in Final Cut Pro 10. And a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. First thing you need is a pullback shot like this using any type of drone. When filming it, try to capture it as smoothly as possible without any quick jerky movement. Just pull away from the subject and adjust the height while you're flying if you need to. Now that you have that, you can head on over to Final Cut. Drag the footage you want to use to the project timeline. Press R on your keyboard to load up the range selection tool, then select the portion of your clip that you want to speed up. Click on the retiming options button and change the speed to fast. I changed mine to about 20 times. You will need to play around with this depending on your clip, but just use what I did as a guide. Now press B on your keyboard to bring up the blade tool. You will now splice off the part where you want your clip to end. Then delete the remaining part. Add some sound effects to add another level of depth to your boomerang effect. I started off with just the sound of the waves, then I faded out the sound a bit when the flyback effect happens. I also slowly faded in the sound of seagulls when it zoomed out. Once you are done all that, highlight it all and then right click on your mouse or mouse pad. Select New Compound Clip, name it and hit OK. Now copy that compound clip that you just created with Command and C and paste another one right beside it. With the second one highlighted, Press the Retiming Options button and select Reverse Clip. Now when you play it, it should rewind it back to the beginning. If you need the second clip to rewind faster, use the Range Selection tool again, select the part you want to speed up, and change the speed to about 2 times, or more depending on how fast you want it to be. Now select these two clips and copy and paste them over and over as many times as you want. If you're using it for Instagram, you'll probably want to do it until it reaches about 60 seconds. You should also color grade it to make it pop out even more. And a special thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. For those who are not familiar with Squarespace, they are a website that helps you create your own website. It's very easy to use and all the templates are very modern. I'm actually currently moving my website over to Squarespace and I love the process as everything is just drag and drop. There are a ton of amazing templates that you can choose from and a lot of them are really modern looking too so your website won't look cheap and cheesy. So if you guys are interested in trying it out for 14 days for free, make sure to click on the link in the description down below. And one other thing guys, if you guys use the code BRIANFRANCISCO during checkout, you will get 10% off your first purchase.